I'm Ron Woodbin. I live in Guatemala. I serve in Guatemala. More importantly, I learn in Guatemala. And what I learn from the different ministries, the different people I meet, I learn their stories and I try to tell those, those stories. Telling the story is, is what seems to be happening right now and what, what a lot of ministries are asking for. They basically say that my church says they're gonna give me five minutes, give me three minutes of that on video and now and I'll take the other two. That's basically what I do on a daily basis. God just takes me places and he opens my eyes and he opens my ears and more importantly he opens my heart. I pray long and hard <laughs> whenever we have to travel and this is gonna be a trip today. Long. But today, um, this guy's been asking me for a long time to, to do a, a video on their ministry, which entails uh, going out to a very isolated community down near the coast. It's really uh, impoverished. I guess when I walk into a home like this, I see beneath their eyes, you know, the hurt, the anguish, the lack of hope. And there have been so many times, there, there have been so many times where I hand the camera to Sally, I say, I can't do this. And, and she takes the camera and she starts shooting. Um, and we, like we always say, when it, when it doesn't hurt anymore, when, when going, to, going inside a place like this and it doesn't hit me between the eyes and in the heart, then we're coming home. I think God keeps taking me out to, to places like this just to, to ground me again. This is what I like about ministries like this. They're gonna keep coming back to the same community and they're gonna come back and they're gonna visit her again and they're gonna visit her neighbors again. And it's not just a one and done, just to chalk up another number on the list. Oh, I visited 30 people last week. I don't care. I mean, what's the connection? What have, what have you left behind? Have you left your heart behind? Have you left Jesus behind? Have you left some hope behind? Um, some joy behind? A promise of a better tomorrow? Did you leave that behind? That's all they're asking for. Just give me some hope. How can I tell people that Jesus loves them when they're starving to death? So where do we start? We start someplace and that's what they're doing. They're gonna feed these kids today and then they're gonna teach them a lesson and they're gonna, they're gonna teach them about God's love. It has to work together. It has to work together. It was a great day. Um, I just didn't, now that now the butterflies start churning, like, how are you going to tell this story? And then I just have to give it over to him again and say, tell the story, and and hopefully um, it'll touch hearts and it'll bring people closer to to the ugliness at times, but the beauty at the same time of what we experienced today. I mean, it's just a good day. I like being tired. I like working. I, I love being in Guatemala. This is where I'm supposed to be.